20-year-old Nashville YouTuber Timothy Wilkes killed after he approached a group of guys with butcher knives, plural, as part of a prank robbery for YouTube. Shooter said he was unaware of the prank and shot him to defend himself and others. No one has been charged in Wilkes' death. So before I get into this, to reiterate, a 20-year-old YouTuber by the name of Timothy Wilkes pulls a knife on people and gets shot like the dumb bitch he is, excuse me, was. The surviving accomplice and friend of Timothy who accompanied him in this premeditated act of terror to, to what, videotape? <laughs> describes it as a YouTube prank to the police. You know, a goof, like a like a joke, haha, <laughs> for views, for likes, for attention on the internet. Because people like Timothy might die without it. Ironically, in death, people who would never have heard the name of a guy so original that YouTube pranking was his call, his passion, are now perplexed by a story where two adults thought that it was a good idea to execute a plan where, in the midst of a pandemic, with weapons in hand, plural, they sought to deliberately inflict fear in people, and since that wasn't enough, they brought equipment to record the act of terror to share with what, like-minded people? Scumbags who would delight at the idea of people fearing for their lives to, to visually see and what, taste the terror in their faces? I feel like a lot of people, I, I need to shut up. I need to shut up. Because before I get into the responses, I really want to paint a picture for you here. I've heard people online talk about how this poor young boy who was gunned down in his prime, uh, like he didn't choose to play stupid games and win a stupid prize here. To the victim of this act of terror who defended himself against weapon-wielding aggressors, I'm sorry that you were forced to do what you needed to do, but I salute you because it is what you needed to do when you perceive yourself to need to protect from aggressors. You know, you have friends with you. This is a trampoline park, my dude, a place where people might bring their children. But read the comments so you're going to see a bunch of people talking about, uh, I can't believe, you know, nothing good comes from people. Like, yeah, yeah, make them excuses, please. Pranks in general are cringe. It is 2021 and we talk about pranks. Everything you find online is typically staged. And what that means is it's a production, meaning people are in on it. They are acting. Specifically so things don't go wrong like this, even though they're painting a really ridiculous and stupid picture to people young enough to have been suckered into the idea that it is not staged because they might go out in public and, and do something stupid like this. And I, I would imagine it wouldn't take a Doctor Strange to scan potential future outcomes and assess that this wasn't a good idea, but hey man, not only was Timothy of the mindset that it was a dope idea, but him and his friend were like, guess what? We about to roll out. And Timothy paid for this ignorance with his life. Hopefully, it can be a lesson for anyone seeking to do something foolish for attention in the future. This situation isn't funny to me, but the responses from people trying to turn it into anything other than what it is, which is a 20-year-old adult looking for online views and deciding that pulling a butcher's knife on people was a good idea. And then, oh my God, I've been shot in the face. Who could have seen this happening? So I'm not bullying. I'm a spectator in this situation, and I think it's absolutely abs absurd. It's the dumbest thing that I think I've ever seen. And I hope that the ripples of this act, of this foolishness, have something in the way of an impact on pranks. Because, my God, man, you want to get alcohol poisoning? Type Timothy Wilkes into Twitter and drink every time you see somebody say Darwin Award, play stupid games, what did he expect, something of that nature. Because I can't even scroll through these comment sections without, of course... It's a prank, it's a prank, yeah, okay. Yeah, what I have to ask myself, man is you know in their head they had a version of this scenario going their way. But how did it go? 
Did they go, oh my god, you have a knife and you're intending to harm us. Please don't, please. And then you go, haha, it was just a prank, I have you now. Mmm, got you. We will put our butcher's knives away now outside of this trampoline park. I'm gonna just, let me just read the comments verbatim. You, you, I don't want to hear from me. You don't want to hear from me. Oh boy. Look, people carry guns. And if you come in my car like that, I will shoot you. Yeah. I, I, hey, that's a response to that. D, uh, money your own business and somebody run up on you with a gun. Wait a minute. Somebody says you shouldn't even get a funeral if you go out like this. I, I, you know, if I was part of the crew of people that had somebody pull a knife on me, I would show up to this boy's funeral, push over the casket and let everybody know it's a prank. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a prank, though. You can't be mad at me. At least I'm not pulling a weapon on you. The Kyle channel does not condone the act of pushing over anybody's fucking caskets at a funeral. My point very specifically is this is stupid. This is stupid. He shouldn't have he should have thought about it. This is somebody's son that they raised this dumb. Is school failing you churn? If y'all if y'all couldn't piece together that maybe just maybe this wasn't a good idea. You know that the uh the spot they were outside of had urban in the name of it. The trampoline uh, uh like spot it had urban in the name and you were like, "Hey, look, I got this idea. It involves butcher knives." and running up to people. It's a YouTube prank. And I hope I get, I hope I get my views. Somebody said they need to know the race of the shooter. Why, man? Why? What does it matter? Welcome to hell. I'm gonna download that. I like that. I like that little gif. Oh boy. Um, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Okay. Motherfuckers thinking they Batman, but got played like a Joker. LOL. Mm. Armed robbery of random people with knives is not a prank. The only difference between this and real robbery is what? They give the people their stuff back? That requires the victim for, again, listen, roll this, roll this out in your head and think about what the best case scenario would be. That they get scared. They get on their knees, they say sorry, they start handing over their things because that's what you're 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 doing. This is a a prank robbery. And then what? You go, "No, we were just kidding. We weren't going to rob you. We just had these knives as a as a prank, as a joke. So now we're going to take your footage and put it on the internet because there's an audience for it. YouTube, YouTube, there's an audience for that apparently. They thought that the YouTube was the place to go put that stuff out there. Somebody was going to be like, yeah, the terror in their eyes. I could feel it. Mm. The kid who did this on black communities, miss, messing with black people for views and likes, pretending to rob people, inflicting fear. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fuck around and find out. Can I add that to the alcohol poisoning drinking game? You know, uh, Darwin Award. Fuck around and find out. Win stupid games. Win stupid games. You know, he's 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 taking my brain cells, you know, with what he did. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Uh, you know, what did he expect? When when real life imitates memes. He ran up to some somebody and ran off as a ghost, Dia. Now, I don't agree. <laughs> it's a real shame. <laughs> Dia, no. Dia, what do you have to say about it, Dia? I'm gonna let you end this video. I thought prank videos were something of the past. I didn't think anyone else was doing it now. Just because we're not into it doesn't mean that there isn't a supreme and outrageous audience for it. It's still, you know, in some... It's weird. You know, YouTube usually shoves a bunch of shit that we're not in the mood for in our face anyway, but we haven't seen prank videos, but you know they're still thriving. Must be millions of views going into the normie content that is somebody going, Oh my god, I pranked my boyfriend by giving him a hickey in his sleep and now I'm going to overreact to it on camera. Let's watch. What? <laughs> oh boy, I... 
I think I think we're good. I think we're done. I hope I I hope somebody I hope somebody learns something here. What could the family feel like? That's your that's your legacy? Approaching people with butcher's knives isn't a prank. Now, Dia, you know that one of my favorite things on the internet is that there's somehow people on a side of an argument that you thought didn't exist. How could it be an argument? This dude rolled up on somebody with butcher's knives talking about this is a robbery. And then he got shot. Oh my God, who could have seen this coming? Do you understand? The humanity. So, <laughs> the end. My bad, you know. I get I get attacked because, because I guess the way that I say things isn't nice enough as if there's a nice way to paint pictures like this. My God. Oh, we haven't seen this one in a minute. Yeah. So, there it is. Later. Mm-mm.